दिस वीडियो इज क्रिएटेड बाय जागृत क्रिएशन इट इज ऑन डिपार्टमेंटल अकाउंट्स आई विश टू सॉल्व वन सम हियर बिफोर यू ऑब्जर्व दैट ऑन द स्क्रीन मिस्टर ब्राइट एंड कंपनी एज फोर डिपार्टमेंट ए बी सी एंड डी इच डिपार्टमेंट बींग मैनेज बाय डिपार्टमेंटल मैनेजर हुज कमीशन वॉज टेन परसेंट ऑफ द रिस्पेक्टिव डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंटल प्रॉफिट सब्जेक्ट टू अ मिनिमम ऑफ रूप सिक्स थाउजेंड इन इच केस इंटर डिपार्टमेंट ट्रांसफर टूक प्लेस एट अ लोडेड प्राइस एज फॉलोज फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ए टू डिपार्टमेंट बी बी टेन परसेंट अब कॉस्ट फ्रॉम ए टू डी ट्वेंटी परसेंट अब कॉस्ट फ्रॉम सी टू बी ट्वेंटी परसेंट अब कॉस्ट फ्रॉम सी टू बी ट्वेंटी परसेंट अब कॉस्ट फॉर द इयर एंडेड ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ आर टू थाउजेंड सेवन इन द फॉर्म हेज ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर एंड क्लोज द डिपार्टमेंटल ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट सो हेज ऑलरेडी कंक्लूडेड द फाइनलाइज द अकाउंट सब्सिक्वेंटली इट वॉज डिस्कवर दैट द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंट हैज इंक्लूडेड इंटर डिपार्टमेंटल ट्रांसफर्ड गुड्स एट लोडेड प्राइसिस इंस्टेड ऑफ कॉस्ट प्राइसिस फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रिपेयर द स्टेटमेंट रिकॉम्प्यूट इन द डिपार्टमेंटल प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस सो अकाउंट आर फाइनलाइज then it was noticed that unrealized profit was not taken into consideration so in light of unrealized profit we are required to make changes to the profit and after that commission should be given without doing all these things commission has already been paid so when the commission has already been paid on a profit which is required to be amended which is required to be corrected so you have to add back the commission given once and find out the profit before amendment of unrealized profit so what we are required to do in this sum first of all commission is already paid on a profit which requires to be changed in light of adjustment of an unrealized profit so whatever the profit is given to be in the sum commission given will be added back so i'll get the profit which requires change which requires to be changed in light of unrealized profit then i'll give the effect of unrealized profit on the profit then i'll get the true amended corrected profit on that corrected profit i will give the commission then i'll get the net profit this is the procedure that i'm going to follow for this sum now this is the details of the sum given to me profit already given 38000 50,472,000 and 1,8,000. Now they have already paid commission that is to be added back. How the commission was to be paid? 10% of the respective department profit subject to minimum 6,000. If the departmental profit is loss, commission will be 6,000. If the departmental profit is less than Sixty thousand, sixty thousand into ten percent, six thousand. If it is less than sixty thousand, then at the rate of ten percent, commission will be less than six thousand. In that situation also, the commission required to be paid six thousand. So that is the interpretation of this. Commission was ten percent respectively departmental profit subject to a minimum of six thousand in each case. So minimum commission need be paid six thousand. Now in case of department A. as there was a loss departmental manager is given a minimum commission of 6000 that is to be added back now in case of department b 50400 is the profit given to you now this is a profit after giving 10% commission so if the profit is 100 then commission allowed was 10 so profit after commission becomes 90 If ninety is the profit after commission, then ten was the commission. How much for fifty thousand four hundred? That works out to be five thousand six hundred. Now minimum commission need to be paid six thousand. So in case of department B, the manager got the commission of six thousand. That is to be added back. Now same way we would like to work out for department C. Department C profit was seventy two thousand. This is a profit after giving commission at the rate of ten percent. So, if ninety is the profit after commission, then ten is the commission. How much for seventy-two thousand? That works out to be eight thousand. Minimum six six thousand need be paid here. That is entitled to have a commission of eight thousand. So, eight thousand or six thousand, whichever is higher is to be paid. So, he got a commission of eight thousand. That is required to be added back. 
Now in case of department D, the profit is one lakh eight thousand. This profit is after giving commission at the rate of ten percent. So ninety is to ten. How much for one lakh eight thousand? That works out to be twelve thousand. Minimum commission six thousand to be paid. If you pay twelve thousand, minimum commission six thousand gets automatically paid. So the criteria is twelve thousand or six thousand, whichever is higher, it should be paid. So here twelve thousand was the commission that was paid to D. That is to be added back. Now, if you reverse the effect of this commission, or if you add back commission given to the profit after commission, you will get the profit before commission. So here, in case of A, there is a loss of thirty-two thousand before commission. As the commission was given, the loss has increased. The loss before commission was thirty-two thousand. As the commission of six thousand was paid, loss has turned up to thirty-eight thousand. So. Loss before commission was thirty-two thousand. Here, same way, fifty-six thousand is the profit. Fifty-six thousand four hundred is the profit before commission. Eighty thousand and one lakh twenty thousand. This is the profit before manager commission. Now, to this profit, I am required to give the effect of unrealized profit. The profit unrealized was not accounted for. Where unrealized profit situated? Unrealized profit situated in a departmental stock. That is a transfer stock from the another department. So unrealized profit exists in the stock of the department, and the unrealized profit also exists in the profit of the transferor department. That's an important point. So unrealized profit exists in the profit of transferor department. And the same profit exists in the stock value of the transferee department. Now let me take care of unrealized profit. So profit earned through transfer of goods at a loaded price remain in stock of the transferor department. In the stock, the profit earned through the transfer of goods is loaded at a loaded price remain in the stock of the transferee department. And the transferor department's profit. Now let me prepare a working note. Twenty-two thousand from department A. Stock is seventy thousand. Twenty-two thousand is the stock from A. Forty-eight thousand is the stock from C. So first of all, from department A, twenty thousand transfer to B. From department A, twenty thousand transfer to B. And this twenty thousand goods are lying unsold in the stock of Department B. So unrealized profit exists in the value of this twenty-two thousand, and this unrealized profit is found in the gross profit of transferor Department A because A has earned a profit while transferring goods, and the goods are unsold in Department B. So unrealized profit exists. In the stock of Department B, but it is charged by Department A. Now, what was the rate of gross profit? Ten percent above the cost. So this twenty-two thousand is the transfer price. That is ten percent above the cost. So if cost is ten, load is if cost is hundred, load is ten, loaded price is hundred and ten. Hundred and ten is to ten. How much for twenty-two thousand? So ten percent above cost is the load. So twenty-two thousand into ten upon hundred and ten is the profit element. This profit element of two thousand exists in a stock of two thousand, but it was charged by Department A. So it remained in the gross profit of Department A. Similarly, from A to D, twenty percent above the cost. In D, three thousand six hundred. Is from C and twelve hundred from Department A. So twelve hundred from Department A. So this twelve hundred is from Department A. The load was twenty percent above the cost. So hundred is the cost, twenty is the load, one twenty is the transfer price. If one twenty is the transfer price, then twenty is the profit. How much for twelve hundred? So twelve hundred into twenty upon one twenty. This is the profit element earned by Department A. And that profit existed in the stock of Department D. So 
2000 plus 200, 2200 is the unrealized profit in the profit of transfer or department D. So 2200 is found in the profit of department D. Now, transfer from C to B, 48,000 from C to B, 20% above cost. If cost is 100, 20 is the load, 120 is the transfer price. 120 is to 20, how much for 48,000? So 48,000 into 20 upon 120. This is the unrealized profit existed in the stock that existed in department B, but it was charged by department C. Here, from C to D, from 3600 from C to D, because stock of D. So there also the profit is 20%. So same way, 36,000 into 20 upon 120, this is the profit element. So 8,600, this is the unrealized profit of department C. That's an important point. So 2,200, unrealized profit, because goods were transferred from A. Profit was charged by A. So that unrealized profit is in the gross profit of A. So from gross profit of A, it is to be deducted. So 8,600 is to be deducted from the gross profit of C because when C transferred the goods, C charged the profit. So that gross profit was identified by C in its gross profit. So from the gross profit of C, this unrealized profit is to be deducted. Now you'll get the profit, true profit after unrealized profit on which you are required to give commission. In case of loss, you are required to give a commission of 6,000, so 34,200. So this is a profit. 10% commission if you work out. As there is a loss, department manager is given a minimum commission of 6,000. Here 5,640. As there is a loss in a department, it is given a minimum commission. So 5,640 or 6,000, whichever is higher is to be given. So 6,000 paid, 7,120 more than 6,000, so to be paid, 12,000. So this is the commission to be paid to the partners. Now you'll get the true profit after commission that is being questioned to you in the sum. This is what we intended to find out in this sum, and that was a question given to us. So this is our departmental profit after manager's commission is being worked out. So I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.